Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Jace, uh, Jace foil. I like it. Uh, I liked it at $50, I liked it at $40, I like it at, I do not like it at $60 though. But it's interesting, Jace is very good. Um, is his snap casting mage good? No, absolutely not. But does he need to be? No, he does not need to be as good snapcaster. He just needs to be decently good. I made a video in the beginning where I said this Jace was the best Jace, and I mean he may very well turn out to be the most played Jace across formats. And the reason that is is Jace the Mind Scope is banned in modern, so obviously he has no modern playability. This card is interesting. I do not know if he's modern playable at this time. I don't know if how people are going to use him. I do know he's dominating standard this time. So his price in one format, so JSD Mind Sculpt is only good in Legacy. And EDH and other formats like that. This particular Jace can be played in standard now, modern, and perhaps Legacy. So I'm keeping a very close eye on him, especially the foil copies of him, because should he see any playing Legacy and do well in Legacy, I'm probably all in on this card. Right now, I don't know. If you see some play in Modern, I'm going to look very closely at this card. Uh, and that's primarily because people love Jace. They love playing with Jace. They love Jace as a planeswalker, as a fictional character. They love him. If they can jam Jace in their Modern deck, they will. Right now, there is not a good Jace. Jace AOT sees some play, but I mean, it's so fringe that it's not even worth talking about most times. This particular Jace, I think has a lot of upside, if he is powerful enough. And I actually have never played with the Jace myself, so I probably need to actually play with him, maybe put him in a deck in modern. But I saw the Magic World Championship, and he was great. He was great. Um, I remember one of the games was tap, flip Jace, loot, languish you. What? What? Yeah, you do have to pay the casting cost, just like snap casting aids. But if you able, if you're able to flip him and get one use from him, that's kind of like a snap casting aids without the two one flash body. It's obviously less flex flexible because you can't instant speed it. But still, it looks good. It just looks good when you have. Pro Magic players abusing it the way it's being abused right now. And I love how it's going to, I love how it might be modern. Like, again, never going to replace Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster, way, way better than this particular Jace because it this Jace takes some time to uh, work. Snap is very flexible. But why would you want, okay, if you have four snaps and you have four pseudo snaps, Man, that seems like a good deck to me, like uh, in modern. And again, I have to play test it, and I need to go get. I don't own a single Jace. I don't own a single one of these Jaces. I need to get my hands on some and then play test them. And I'm going to play test them in modern because I feel like that's where, if he can prove himself in modern, that's got a lot of upside, uh, tr even at this extreme price. Uh, the reason it has so much upside is. Then, during the next year, if he's heavily played across two formats, yeah, we're talking about a very interesting, a very high risk, medium reward speculation, but if things go right, you'd never have to sell Jace. You just keep your playset and you use them forever. So the Jace is not good, I mean, it is not a great blue card, but it might just be good enough in modern. The fact that Big Jace, Jace, uh, the Mind Sculptor is banned. And a two mana Jace that has some type of ability, and I think that just appeals to casual players too, like EDH play. I know a lot of people say, oh, more of him was printed than other Planeswalkers, but that's true for any set moving, you know, that, that's true for any new set as well. I know, it's an interesting speculation, foils, non-foils, it seems like illogical to say like, hey, because right now he's at the peak. And it seems illogical to say, okay, he's gonna break even more. 
but we haven't seen what he can do in modern yet. And I think that's interesting. That's an unknown right now. Is he going to dominate legacy like Jace the Mind Sculptor? No, he's not going to. But can he be the best Jace and modern? Well, he's already the best Jace in standard, but can he at the same time be the best Jace in modern? Now, that's interesting. That is interesting to me because the best case scenario, you take your four Jaces from your standard deck and you want to play Madden, uh, modern because it's uh, Madden. Because <laughs> you want to do that, just take your four Jaces and you're good to go. And then you get so much value from that. Um, and the fact that like you don't have, like if you purchase snaps, you can't use them in standard. If you purchase Jaces, then you maybe use them in standard and modern. Interesting speculation. I, the only reason I wouldn't say go all in is he's so high right now. The price is so high that for it to climb even more seems, I've never seen a card do this. But if there was a card that can do this and hit $80, it would be a foil Jace. Um, if there's a standard card in four, they can hit 80, 90, 100 dollars. The only card I can think of is Jace. Um, and for all the reasons I stated. Anyway, bye guys.